it happened. My gas station was at a half and a half. It finally happened. I'm going to have to start packing around my own car half and a half. Figure out how that would work. I knew this day would come. They've been out of sugar-free vanilla for... I don't know. Look. Oh, come on. I have my own. Look how much I've used. That's how long they've been out. I only use, I don't know, a tablespoon or whatever a day. That's how long they've been out. So, who knows when they're going to get cream back. And they didn't even have little baby ones. All they had were little baby coffee mates. What even is coffee mate? A milk derivative. I mean, it tastes fine, my vanilla in it, but what is coffee mate? I have no idea. Is it milk? Is it lactose-free milk? Somebody, if you know what it is, well, tippy-tappy it down in the comments there and tell me because help your girl out. I got no idea. And if it is like lactose-free milk, I feel really bad because I used about 42 of them. And so I'm taking them from somebody who maybe actually needs lactose-free milk. But you know what? I would have had half and half if it was there and it wasn't. So if I can't have nice things, they can't have nice things, I guess. You know, whatever. So there's that. Anyway, good morning through a dirty windshield. This is Primarily Vlogs and I am Danielle coming at you with the day's doings. We are on our way to the farm. We did not stop at the gas station this morning to write. We just stopped at the gas station to get coffee with coffee mate in it. Because I showered this morning. I don't, I'm not a morning showerer. I am a nighttime showerer. Mostly because, you know, first you get soap in your eyes and then your contacts are all angry all day. So that's stupid. But, um, secondly, there's something about like, if I'm going to, if I'm waking up early, I'm waking up early to get work done. I'm not waking up early because I want to wake up early. I'm not a morning person. I'm the furthest thing from a morning person ever, okay? So, something about, like, waking up, even if it's at the same time that I wake up to work, something about waking up to shower makes me feel like I'd rather just sleep, you know? So, I don't make a habit of it, but... I've been up so late the past several nights, like, finish up at the farm, get home, eat, and grind till, you know, 1, 1 in the morning, that I can't grind in the shower, you know, I can't bring, can't bring the computer in the shower, so I haven't showered at night, and I needed to shower, so I showered this morning. Sacrifices we make, sacrifices we make for these horses. How it goes. I'm blessed though. I'm so happy to be able to do this. And I'm low on sleep, so I'll be fussy. But I'm so blessed to be able to do this. I am excited. I want to sleep, but I'm excited. I washed my hair and it was exciting because I bought, um, I was at a conditioner and I, ooh, big stick, straddle it. Yeah. Uh, my, my hair is color treated with, you know, fun colors, fashion colors, and, uh, they're, I, what do you call it, semi-permanent, I don't know, I'm not a beauty guru, and so, they wash out pretty easily, and so I wash my hair as infrequently as possible, which I can get away with, because it lives under a ball cap, braided all the time, throw a little dry shampoo on, make it smell good, you know, and I can get away with washing my hair pretty infrequently, but when I wash my hair, you know, I want that softness and stuff to last. And so I was at a conditioner and I really wasn't pleased with, you know, how it was turning out anyway. And so I, um, whenever I went to the store, I invested in some good conditioner, some Nexus conditioner. I read the reviews. People loved it. And, uh, some Chi Silk Therapy leave-in stuff. Read the reviews. People loved it. And I'm going to tell you, yeah. I think it feels pretty good. It's still wet, but I, I, I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. You know, it's all about that feel. There are these black, um, black. It reminds me of what y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe you do. Uh, Sweet Pro makes a 
horse lick and a uh, cow vitamin lick. And it reminds me of the container the big cow vitamin lick comes in, but I'm not sure who would use Sweet Pro around here. They're everywhere. I'm just seeing them. Um, we had, well, they called for high wind warnings for last night. Now, I'm really interested, clearly, <coughs> clearly, excuse me, there's been some wind because I'm seeing these, you know, black buckets around. Uh, but often when the forecast calls for wind, we get maybe 20 mile an hour stuff. We get our wind when the forecast doesn't call for wind. If the forecast calls for, you know, two miles an hour, then we're going to get 60 sustained with 100 gusts. But if the forecast is like, batten down the hatches, it's going to be bad, then we get, you know, 30 mile an hour gusts. Which, for us, is really nothing. No big deal. Another day in paradise. But I, it is interesting. I've seen enough of these black buckets now. I wonder where they came from. I got... I'm so excited. I'm so tired, but I'm so excited. I got so much done on my project last night. I would estimate I'm 25% done. And that's, that's like... That's pretty exciting. There's something like... You know, the first couple days was just setting it up so you didn't really have anything to look at to see that you really achieved anything. Whereas now, I'm to the point, visually, I can see my progress. And that's thrilling. Because I got something to look at to prove that I've made progress on it. I, there's, oh, broken connector. There is so much more yet to do so much more but it's gotten to the exciting part because i can like you know show lauren like look what i've done and she can actually see what i've done and be like good job you know and it's all about the good job but i'm at the farm time to rock and roll hopefully gonna throw some more time into the project today today will be the last day i can really throw a lot of time at it tomorrow crews and trippers owners will be here and we have the vet for ultrasound of Cruz's leg and acupuncture. Uh, so that'll be fun, but that'll keep me busy. Might not get a video up tomorrow. I'll try to get some video of tomorrow, but I probably won't get the video up tomorrow. There will be too much to do. Maybe. No, the video of tomorrow will probably come uh, next week. But I do have a video going up tomorrow, so check it out. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. We're really building something here. I'm really wanting to get the word out for the Patreon, for Primarily Hooves, for what we do, for the nonprofit. Really want to start getting some interest so we can keep helping these horses. Um, so I'm trying to do my part here. If y'all could do your part, I would really appreciate it. I think that's all I got for now. See ya. Wait. Pause. Then we can pull the phone out. Because why, why touch the camera if you don't have to? Pause so nobody thinks you're texting and driving. Press the button. The GoPro's in the car because I wasn't expecting to come in to see a wet dog. He got a bath. Look at him. He looks so unsure of himself. He's not stinky anymore. He doesn't even know what to do. Oh, did you get a bath? You poor thing. Look at you. Oh, they all need baths. Yes, you lucky boy. Was the video quality there a Bozzy? Taking off uh, Lauren's new iPhone, like, great or what? I'm going to tell you. I am really impressed. With that particular phone, but I mean with phones in general. And that one, sassy girls, that one, the iPhone SE third gen. So it is the newest SE, and yet, you know, SEs are new equipment put into old bodies. So it's not, all things considered, not very expensive. I get fussy about the price of these phones, but. For all they can do, I mean, they've essentially 
I, I ha only had a phone and it completely replaced a computer and everything for several years and I did. It's amazing what I could get done on it. So, I guess you can't complain that much, but they're so fragile. That's the, paying that much for something. It's like, they should charge me less when I know I'm going to be taking it out and potentially, you know, wounding it. But that's not their problem, I guess. You need a backup. Yeah. I don't appreciate how pushy you are. No. I'm just, I'm tickled though with how good that footage is. I'm super interested in getting her a, uh, external, see anything broken or just down? I think it's just down. Well, that one is a little broken. I'm super interested in getting her an external wide angle lens because those iPhones, you, they're, that, they're still not, at least, it sounds like the, you know, I should say new fancy ones have a little bit more wide angle capability maybe, but uh, you know, it's not what they're made for and a microphone they sell like I guess I don't know if you call it Bluetooth but it has a little receiver box that you plug into the lightning port on the phone and then the microphone itself clips onto you wherever and I was listening to some sound clips and it's crazy how good the thing sounds I think hmm I think what I need to do see it's I hate electric fence nut I don't hate using it. I love using it. It works great. I hate messing with it. Oops. Because it's scary. See, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Hmm. How can we fix this without actually doing it the right way? We need to do that and then hold the tension as we wrap it down so it stays. Or wrap it up. See, I'm just too short for that. Hmm. Maybe we can still thread it. Down works too. I'm happy with down. That doesn't want to slide. Oh. Oh. Alright, I have to fix that. But I don't have to fix that right now. Nice. A little ingenuity goes a long way when you're dealing with this fence. <laughs> anyway. What was I talking about? Oh, I was just talking about how tickle I am with, those, with the phones. I figured I'd show some average speed footage of slapping through the mud. I love it. I think every horse person just loves their mud farm. Yeah, Eva? Do you love the mud farm? Oh, what a good girl. She, I don't know what it is. She struggled with wanting to look away. You'd present her with food, she'd look away. It's not because she wasn't excited about it. She was. She'd, you know, be nickering at you. And so finally it was like, okay. You gotta look at me if you're gonna get fed. And so I did a lot of either waiting on her or if like she took too long, then okay, bye. And I'd come feed her. I'd come try again after doing the minis. Oh, she'd nicker and be like, where are you going? You didn't feed me. And it's like, well, I tried. I don't know where that comes from, but that was really good. She just <laughs> came right to the food and said, put it on my head. know why he is being so mean to Katie, but I don't appreciate it. It's 
not going to get him fed first, that's for sure. Hi, Katie. I'm sorry. You got to just kick him. He puts on a show for every bucket, yet he always eats last. There's a box in Fuzzy Stall. Cup blew in. Yeah, you always eat last. You'd think he'd just learn to, I don't know, be chill, wait his turn. Because being a little maniac doesn't really get him anywhere. Hold on, Buzzy. Excuse me, Katie. No, you need to go. Thank you. This camera better show just how slippery it all is. Hi, Sadie. I'm going to use your bum. Yeah, you were a hit yesterday. Yeah, I think people enjoyed you. Hello, Buzzy. Buzzy and his 15 pounds of food. Oh, there's a pad for a boot. The wind wasn't awful, but it definitely existed. from old buzz man hog skinny tumbler not sure what this is where it's from we'll grab that while we're here Got a gate handle that fell down. If that's the extent of it, then just can't complain. Have to take a ride around the perimeter at some point to check, but there's not gates. And so most of it's just, unless a tree falls on it or a connector breaks, you never know when that's gonna happen. All calm. Did I ever tell you guys? I've got a client. So first, uh, the price of Tef pellets went up from, Stanley Tef pellets went up from 18 something to $24. And that's ridiculous. Because I go through at least Two bags down here alone. I don't even know what Lauren goes through up there. And that's a week. Like, I'm putting a bag in maybe every three days. And so, I mean, just down here, just down here, that would be $15, let's say. It's like two and a half bags um, a week. And so what is that, a month? And then, you know, she's got more of them up there. And it's ridiculous. And I have a client who we were talking about it. And she told me when the price increased, she went in and talked to the store manager and haggled with him. Can you believe that? And got, you know, $2 off a bag or something. I don't know. I said, holy smokes. I have never, I know like it's more common to haggle with people who are selling their own goods, you know, artists and crafters and jam makers and that which I don't agree with like if that person is putting their own time money and effort into creating this thing for you a machine didn't just do it you shouldn't haggle with them pay their price you know but I never considered haggling at a big box store which is honestly where we should haggle because I mean come on you know 
But boy, I just, I'm going to have to ask her to go with me to Tractor Supply one of these days. She's local. Because I just don't, I don't have the balls to do it. I'm just going to say it. I don't have the balls to do it. But I want to do it. Because, buddy, if I could save a couple dollars a week on those friggin' pellets, that's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, it's, they started at like $15 a bag, I want to say. Yeah, when I was ordering them online, they were like $15 a bag. Then they went up to 18 and now they're at 24 I mean, ugh. We're on our way back from town, had to run some errands. I just love Walmart at the holiday time. But this isn't about that. This is about down the road from us, there was an awesome big old hay field open for years. And just recently they decided, I guess, I guess it sold, and they decided they're gonna put a mobile home park. And the, the, the mobile homes are lovely looking. This isn't about mobile home parks. They're nice ones. But what it's about is location. Because that hay field, since I've lived at the farm, whenever we get one of our famous strong winds, I mean, it just gets beaten. It was constantly littered with stuff. It was an annoying hay field. I knew the guy who hated it because he was constantly having to clean stuff out of it. It was really a pain as far as being a hay field because it just gets beat on. And so they're putting these homes in and we haven't had a good strong wind in a while. We've had a pretty quiet year, really two years. And so we thought, man, just wait, you know? And so we decided to take the long way home so we could um, take a look and see how the homes fared last night. And they fared as to be expected. Lots of missing siding on mobile homes that were just put up. So you wonder, do they repeatedly fix the siding? Do property values drop once these poor people who bought these homes in this lovely area with a great mountain view realize that they're going to spend more on siding over the next five years than they spent on the house itself? It'll be interesting to see what happens. Location, location, location. All right, that's all I have to say. Don't know if y'all can see that GoPro, but Eva's the only one who decided to go out. And man, she marched straight out. She was like, bye. Can you see how pretty mountains look? Wide angle lens thing's kind of hard. Can you see that? That's Eva is just leaving. She doesn't care about none of y'all. She's gone. What are you guys doing here? Standing here pooping more and making more work for me, huh? Get out. Go. Get on. Get on. Go. It's attached to... I wonder if it can... Ooh, go perception. It's attached to the tripod. She says, what is that? Go. Go. Oh, oh, oh. We have um, desensitized her to it. It seems. Let's see. Boop. 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 Usually, if you just annoy them enough, they'll go. You ain't got to do nothing mean to them. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you do got to be mean to them. Because they're back. Because they're back. <sighs> okay. This jacket doesn't have enough pockets. Okay. That's it. Maybe we do things this way. Why not? Give her a try, you know. Doing it in real time is how you make them long videos. And you know my tablet do be loving them long videos. So. Here we go. That's a joke. A tablet doesn't be loving them long videos. It doesn't be loving them at all. Nice. If you got, if anybody, the gate's open, if anybody poops while I'm out here cleaning it up or after, mother is not going to be happy. Okay? It's time to go out. Y'all can go and y'all can poop out there and y'all can do the natural fertilizing not make more work for me you know that'd be nice that'd be real nice I appreciate that oh yes excuse me pardon 
Help me, Mom. Let me just clean under your feet. Yes, don't mind me, housekeeping. It's just housekeeping. I don't know. I was going to talk about something, but I don't even know what now. They kind of throw me for a loop not going out. I don't know what to do. I, I'm surrounded. They're all listening to me. I can't talk to a camera while I'm being watched. I can only talk to a camera when I'm in the privacy of me and the camera. sometimes, you know? Like if the sun hits it directly. And I wonder if y'all can hear me this far. I'm kind of yelling. You know? But what if I scratch the new one? I thought I learned my lesson, but what if I haven't? What if I scratch the new one? That wouldn't be good. They're expensive. I mean, comparatively to like People who have real cameras, they're not expensive, but for me, they're expensive. social. Man, just hates being around me. Boy. Honestly, at the end of this, with all this doggone talking, you're probably going to be sick of me. I'm probably be sick of me. She doesn't care. It's just all noise to her. Just all noise. tinsel? Can the camera see that? I got no clue. I've got no clue what the camera's seeing right now with me so close. Hair tinsel. Oh, there's more. Conductive. I don't, don't remember if I told you guys that. I'm still struggling knowing what I have said in real life versus what I have said to a camera. You know, I'm, I, my two lives, my two lives, I'm, I'm, I'm not keeping them separate yet. So, not sure if I told you. But I'm very conductive. Ask me how I know. Oh, what's that? Oh, how do I know? How do you know, Daniel? So, I was, it was after a hair day. I was wearing my hair down, feeling cute. I was out there playing mini poo. No, no, yeah, well, I was cleaning my poo, turn it out, whatever. And I bent down to open Buzzy's gate. I guess it would technically, if we're gonna tell the story accurately, it'd be with this hand. And it's a corner, his gate runs this way, his fence line runs, oh, what am I telling you for? You've seen it. So I'm reaching down to grab it, and this it's right on that electric wire, and it zapped my brain. And it took me a minute, because I knew my head hadn't touched wire. It took me a minute. Once, I don't know about you, but man, I get angry when I get zapped. I just get hot instantly. I mean, bam, hot, just like, ready to just 
fight somebody, you know, I mean, just, and so, I'm like, my head wasn't near the wire, what was that? And then it, it hit me, that my hair goes down like this, it touched the fence that traveled right up the hair tinsel, right into the old western hemisphere up here. Shoo! Not fun. You know, I did what any person on any farm tries not to ever do. And I left the gate open to the mini's dry lot yesterday. Just the bottom strand of the main gate. And when I got down here to take care of them last night and I saw that, I thought, God dang, what good little guys. I mean, if I were them, I would have slipped right under it. There's grass right on the other side of it. Go. You were a cupcake today. You were a cupcake for National Cupcake Day because you're my sweet little cupcake. Yes. Yes, you were a cupcake. Hi. Boop. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? What do you think? You should have seen yourself. You were so cute and kind of creepy. I did the best I could. I Limited resources and limited talent. I know, I'll tell you, everybody just loved you. And by that, I think you got three likes, but that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, in this economy, I don't actually know, I haven't checked, but I was for sure that was gonna like, I was gonna get a little more traction on that. I mean, it's Diego, what a cupcake. What's wrong with you people? The fact, the fact that it even got thought up, you know, that's like, the skill. We're not debating the lack of skill. It's just the fact that I thought of it. Come on. All right. My little black dot is Eva, and she came back since the girls are still being stubborn. She walked all the way out to the end of the aisleway, which leads to the field. And the field takes a little bit of bravery to cross from the aisleway to the field, and Eva does not have it. So she had to come back like, come on guys, the gate's open, what are we doing? See, she spent years of her life, well, to her, locked up. She couldn't have any grass, so she's not going to spend a second more than she has to locked up in prison. Whereas the girls, they're not that hungry. The grass out there is just not that good. We'd rather starve. Well, go for it. If I was actually worried about them starving, I would actually be worried. But I'm not. They have plenty. They've just eaten the good stuff. This is something horses do. People don't recognize it, whether it's grass or hay. What they'll do is they'll take the tender, the softer bit, sweeter, they'll eat all that first and they'll leave the coarser, more fibrous. Again, grass or hay, they'll go do it to your fields or they'll do it when you throw them a flake of hay. So they'll leave all that fibrous stuff and they'll stand there like, oh, I'm starving, I need some food, I don't have any food. And you're looking at them and you're like, look at all that hay there. And they're like, oh, but it's not good, I don't like that. Wait on them, they will eat it. Don't let them train you. I see clients do it time and time again throw away so much money in hay because horses are standing there like hey I'm hungry they throw more hay the horses learn they never have to eat that fibrous stuff that fibrous stuff keeps them full longer let them eat it they'll only mourn and sulk and whine for a few minutes then they'll go out or they'll eat their hay there's an uh, there's a aisleway that leads to like to Jesus subscriber slash friend slash really nice lady and she was we were talking over comments on the Premier League of Facebook page today and she mentioned um, topics you know so she had some things that she's like teacher we talk about or write about or whatever and that triggered a 
the thought in my mind. Y'all are free to request, you know, topics. I got my own list. Y'all are free to request whether it's a video idea, you see, you, so you want to see something, or a uh, Patreon post idea, it doesn't matter. If you want to know something, ask, and I'll get it done. Um, we got to remember, Patreon is fundraising for, you don't, you probably can't tell you're surrounded, but you're surrounded right now, and it's fundraising for, you know. So, I can't give away everything for free on the YouTube channel, I'm sorry. But, regardless, I'm happy to do whatever you guys want. Yes. I thought I, I know I posted it a few times on those little, like, you know, there's a new video, or... There's a new Patreon post thing on Facebook, on the Primarily Hope's page. I thought I'd marketed that, that, that that's, a, that's an option. Um, but I don't know. I didn't go to college for marketing. I didn't go to college at all. So what do you really want from me? I'm doing my best. Y'all got to help out. If you want something, just tell me. I'm happy to do it. I think that's all I got. We're losing light. I will break my fork and lean on it. Have a good night. Peace. Have y'all had fun with Mini Vision? 24 hours a day, uninterrupted miniature horse content. That would actually be pretty sick. I just wanted to chime in to say I almost did it again. Well, oops, I almost did it again. I leaned to go open Buzzy's gate and I had my hair down and I watched my hair just floop right onto that wire and I was like, no, not today, Satan, not today.